Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to talk about something health related. Um, right now, something I tried recently that um, it's actually a bit of a challenge, but I I, I tried it. You know, <laughs> if you guys are not following me on my health Instagram, then you didn't realize when I was doing it. I actually decided to give up sugar. Yeah, and I do mean give up. Like, I was going to cook cold turkey. Even though I'm not really a cold turkey t k kind of person when it comes to cutting off things like that. But, you know, I was going to try it, you know. I wanted to try it because I don't eat that much sugar as it is, you know. But every time I hear the effects of people giving up sugar, I get really excited. And, you know, I want to experience better things for myself and my body. And because sugar's pretty much hidden in every damn thing, I was really curious to see how much, how many foods really do have sugar hidden in them, if you know what I mean. So I decided to do this. I've been wanting to do this for a while anyway. I really wanted to try it. So yeah, beginning of this week, I try. I, what did I do first? First I had to survey my kitchen and pay attention to what I had. I had to check everything. I had to look at the foods that I usually eat. You know, look at the nutrition facts, look at the ingredients, and see, okay, what foods that I normally eat um, contain sugar, you know? I had to really check those, so that's the first thing I did. Um, I had just gone grocery shopping prior to that, but, you know, I also I had to recheck because, you know, again, sugar's hidden in damn near everything. Sugar is in ketchup, it's in honey, it's in honey mustard, it's in damn near everything. You know, it's hidden. If sugar comes in multiple forms as well, you know, it could be labeled under like dextrose or, you know, natural flavoring or no, that's usually something salt related. But even so, you know, it could be cane sugar, it could be, you know, all kind of stuff. Sugar has multiple names. Yeah. So that's what I started doing when I decided to do this. Now, day one was actually not that bad. Day one really wasn't that bad because I already had in my mind I was going to have a smoothie. I had a smoothie for breakfast. I already pretty much had that in my mind because, you know, it's the simplest thing to have in the morning. And, you know, when I can in the morning, I get up and make a quick smoothie, even though it's cold. So, I generally don't like having cold things in the morning, but I made one anyway because, you know, I want something fairly healthy to drink in the morning. You know, something not too sugary because, you know, smoothies... You don't have to add sugar to smoothies. I don't add sugar to my smoothies. Fuck that. I don't even bother. There's no point. I use almond milk, whether sweetened or unsweetened. And I put frozen fruit. Um, sometimes like baby spinach, uh, flaxseed, chia seeds. That's just the kind of stuff I add to my smoothies. Oh, and frozen fruit. Uh, and a banana. That's usually like a generic way I make my smoothies. So, frankly, I didn't need sugar. You know, that's just what I do. So... I I had um, unsweetened almond milk already, so I used that to make my smoothie, and I drank that, and that was good. I forgot what I had for lunch. I forgot what I had. For, oh wait, I think I had um, a turkey, not turkey burger. Um, um, veggie burger. Yeah, I had one of those um, Morning Stars veggie burgers, I believe. I posted it on Instagram. Y'all can go look at it if I'm wrong, because I don't fully remember. But I believe I had a veggie burger without bread. Because guess what? Bread has sugar. <laughs> and I normally don't even buy white bread. I just buy it for the kids. Because, you know, the kids, they're the main ones eating a lot of bread. I don't even eat bread like that anymore. But, you know, even so, right now we have white bread here. So that's what... I did not eat the white bread. I'm not, I was not going to eat that because, again, it has sugar in it. I think even the wheat bread has sugar because, you know, it's all starch. <clears throat> it's all carbs. Yeah, fun, fun. Yeah, I didn't bother um, eating that for dinner. I ate something. I forgot what I ate, but it actually went pretty well. I, I did well staying away from sugar. I didn't eat any ketchup. I didn't eat any extra snacks. I didn't grab anything that I might normally grab. I didn't eat any of the kids' cereal bars or anything like that. I checked all my snacks. I think I had some... I think I ate pretzels and some... Uh, there's some healthy veggie chips I was, I was eating on throughout the day and I think I was okay with that 
So day one really wasn't that bad. It really wasn't. Day two though was a whole different story. When I woke up on day two, I felt so um I felt weird. Like I couldn't explain the feeling. I knew that it was due to the sugar detox because when you let go of sugar, it's a detox. It's a very, very strong ass detox. It's a brutal way of detoxing, you know, cutting cold turkey like that because your body is in shell shock. Your body is like, what the hell are you doing to me? I need some sugar, you know. Now, I did eat natural sugars. I did have a tangerine on day one. I ate, one, I ate um, I believe, a tangerine. I think I had an apple as well. Um, yeah, so you can't eat natural sugars, you know, naturally occurring sugars like fruits and veggies. Those are fine to eat on the no sugar diet, for me at least. You know, I don't see anything wrong with that, you know. But, um... Day two, yo, I was hungry as fuck. I didn't know what else to eat. It's like, I felt like I ran out of foods to eat. The foods I ate the previous day were not really cutting it. It's as if me doing it that one that one whole day was just like, my body was just like, oh, no, shut down. Nope, can't do it. It was as if my body was just, my body said, no, you're not going to keep doing this. You're not going to keep depriving us of sugar. Now, the reason why I'm saying cold, cutting cold turkey wasn't a good idea was because, of course, your body still needs some sugar to sustain itself, okay? Of course, we kind of all need, know this, which is why naturally occurring sugars are okay for you to eat on this diet. But I was just trying to be a badass and just cut cold turkey to say I was just curious to see how long I could actually do this cold turkey. Y'all, by fucking... Uh, what did I have for breakfast? I forgot what I had for breakfast, but by lunchtime, I was famished. I was walking around the house trying to figure out what to eat, but everything had sugar. Everything had sugar. Like I said, the bread, the, um, no, not chicken nuggets. I think I ate chicken nuggets because I don't think chicken nuggets had sugar in it. But, you know, everything had sugar. You know, yogurt, um, and everything that I wanted to eat, I guess, at the moment applesauce even a little like little small things like that um that morning i didn't get to do a smoothie because again i think it was cold either that or i just didn't feel like doing a smoothie i just didn't get around to doing it because it was a hectic morning you know the kids um getting my nerves hustling and bustling out the kitchen whatever and i'm trying to shoo them out i don't think i really got to get a smoothie that morning but either way by lunchtime i was fucking famished i was like dying i was looking for leftovers and they say when you're doing the sugar detox don't let yourself get hungry no, I tried. I tried. I really didn't want to let myself get hungry, but I didn't get to shop specifically for the no sugar thing. It was just like a spontaneous type of decision that I've been thinking about for about a week. It was not entirely spontaneous, but spontaneous enough. Spontaneous to the point where I didn't have all the shit I needed, I guess. Um, I didn't have many substitutes, you know. Like I said, I had some snacks. I have like veggie chips and I have pistachios and I have like little healthy things like that, but... You know, everything else in, in the house had sugar. Everything else. Like I said, even quick things like yogurt and uh, applesauce. Definitely couldn't eat any of those things. Like cereal bars. That's the stuff most, the kids mostly eat on. I couldn't eat any of that. So, oh, it, it was so damn rough, y'all. I, I couldn't even eat my... I couldn't have any of my protein shake. My, my vegan protein shake. That definitely has sugar in it. Um, I had some mandarin oranges that I tend to put on my salads. Candy bandy oranges. I couldn't eat that. Things I couldn't eat. So I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I was drowning. Yo, I had every... I can't say every, but I had a lot of symptoms. And I already knew it was withdrawal symptoms. Those were withdrawal symptoms, y'all. No joke. I was having headaches. I think I woke up with a headache. I had dizziness. I had nausea. I had fatigue. And I had, um... What seemed like brain fog, I guess. Like, my body was just... I, I didn't feel good. I'd say that. And this was only day two. It was only day two. So it was like I was depriving my body. And my body, like I said, my body shut down. My body was like, nope, this ain't happening. I'm going to make your ass feel so sick to where you have no choice but to pick up some sugar. So guess what? By dinner time, I decided I wasn't going to starve myself anymore. Because again, I'm running around with kids. I'm homeschooling. I remember I was trying to check um three kids' schoolwork, I think. I think, I don't know. And I was doing lessons in between then, you know, trying to help them. And I'm trying to watch my three-year-old because she's still potty training. Oh my God. You know, it, it was too much. You know, I can't walk around hungry. I cannot go around hungry. So I, 
I don't want to say I gave up, but I gave up. My body gave up. Uh, it's too much to do this no sugar thing right now, y'all. I was happy that I gave it a go, but my body was screaming at me. My body was really chastising me. So by dinner, I ate pasta. I had some regular noodles with, um, I think, uh, ground turkey that I had fixed with uh, mushrooms in it and all that. And I ate it. I put on some uh, pasta sauce. Oh, there's another thing I got sugar, y'all. Spaghetti sauce, pasta sauce. Tomato sauce in general, it has sugar in it. Added sugar, not naturally occurring sugar. It has sugar that was added. So yeah, there went my no sugar diet down the drain. But you know what? I had to. I couldn't sit there and starve not another minute because, again, I'm here taking care of kids. And there's no fucking way I could handle that. But you know, it was a good run. I'm glad I tried. I'm glad I tried. I was trying to keep myself full by all means. I was guzzling a bunch of water, I was drinking my kombucha, I was drinking tea, I was drinking just anything, not anything, anything um, without sugar to keep myself full, and it was not working, y'all, that shit was not fucking working. So yeah, I tried, I tried, I was on a no sugar diet for two days, I, I attempted it, I'm proud that I attempted it, I'm really proud that I attempted it, because like I said, I just wanted to try it. I wanted to see the withdrawal symptoms that everybody else was talking about. I wanted to see how much better I'd feel if I was able to last a week. I wanted to see how much healthier I would feel, how much healthier my body would feel, you know, all that type of stuff. I wanted to see that. But, you know, I went too far. I can't do this shit cold turkey. I just, I'm just not unable to right now. I didn't have much of a substitute because, you know, if you take something out, you gotta replace it with something else. And, again, I didn't have many foods that would replace... The sugary foods that I that I had prior to, you know, when you have kids, you got five kids in the house, everything's gonna have sugar, and if you don't have five kids in the house, everything still has sugar. Everything is either starch or carbs, like literally, you got rice, you got pasta, you got even fuck quinoa, I think is is starchy. Uh, you got bread, you got hot cereals, you got uh, cream of wheat and stuff like up there in the fridge. Um, grits, oatmeal, all that stuff is still carbs. It's still sugar. Yeah, practically everything you try to eat is just like that. It's just how it is. But you know, like I said, I'm happy. I gave it a run. I, it was a good run. Like I said, day two, I felt like shit. I wanted to throw up. But by dinner time, I gave up. I couldn't handle it anymore. But I'm happy that I attempted it. I'm very, very happy. I'm grateful that I know I can attempt it. Just like the one week I went without meat. It was a week, yes, it was a week uh, last year, I believe, November or something, where I actually cut out meat for an entire week. I didn't eat any meat. For an entire week. That's much easier to do than doing no sugar for an entire week. Much easier. Um, I had a much easier time with that because a lot of times I don't even want meat anyway. My body rejects meat a lot these days. I don't eat a lot of meat. Um, my oldest daughter also doesn't want a lot of meat either. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> it was fun. It was a challenge. But um, I almost passed out. So, yeah, that, that's not good. My husband was like, you better eat, you know. <laughs> I'm at work, I can't come and help you. I can't, you know, I can't get to you if you lay out somewhere. And, you know, I'm not able to get to you or the kids or anything. So, <sighs> I'm not doing that to myself anymore. You know, maybe when I'm in a better place in life, maybe when the kids are older and I'm able to kind of, like, do some, at a different stage in life, I'll probably attempt it again. Just know that. But right now, you know, like I said, it was a good run. You know, I didn't last long enough to see any major changes, but either way, I was just happy that I was able to attempt it, and I was going through severe withdrawals. Those withdrawals are no joke. They are real. They exist. <laughs> Don't think when you cut cold turkey, it's just going to be a breeze, because it ain't. Especially if you if you have a lot of sugar in the first place, if you're a major coffee drinker or anything like that. I don't drink coffee a whole lot, Um, but even so, it's still rough. It's rough on anybody because, again, they sneak sugar in every damn thing. It's snuck in so much to where we don't realize how much sugar we're consuming on the daily. Even if you don't drink sugar. I mean, uh, drink sugar. Even if you don't drink sodas or anything like that. Because I don't drink sodas. I, don't, I haven't had sodas in years. But even if you don't do that, there's still sugar hidden in a lot of our foods. So you have to just be careful. If you know that you're addicted to sugar, try cutting out little by little. Don't be like me and go cold, cold turkey. Unless you actually can do that. Unless you're actually preparing for that. And you can. 
you know so yeah that was my experience it was it was a run it was a good run oh I think that was all I had to say yeah I believe that's it um would you ever try this have you ever tried this have you ever tried cutting sugar out even to a small extent let me know your experiences down below yeah let's chat about that <laughs> would you ever dare do such a thing you know I'm sure it would be, be good for you if you could last through it. Like I said, one day in life, I'll probably come back to it. I think I'm done here. I think I've said everything I need to say. I keep feeling like I'm missing something, but probably not. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it'll prompt you to look into your diet and see what needs rearranging. Maybe kind of motivate you a bit, you know, follow my health Instagram because I'm, you know, I'm always posting health things there, health tips and things that I'm doing health and fitness wise. And yeah, make sure you like this video, like, share and subscribe and comment and all that other good stuff. I hope you're having a great day, second night, hour, month, day and stuff. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Peace out.